I just found out what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> now, take a... And that's not what I meant. Take a look at this picture. <laughs> take a look at this picture. 300 women in Brisbane, Australia, were taking part in a Valentine race to try and bag a date. It was organised by a local radio station and the prize was a trip to Las Vegas with that lucky man who actually doesn't look that keen. <laughs> <laughs> Now, they were happy to take part in the race, um, but do you think you should ever chase a guy? Well, you see... <laughs> <laughs> what I would have done if I was in that race... Get over yourself, you. <laughs> <laughs> I, would have, I would have lost it on purpose. Yeah. Exit couldn't be bothered to run. But also, I would have stayed at the back so that when he finished the race, he'd have thought, why doesn't she fancy me? And that would have made him more It depends interested. how you do it, if you're at the back, going... <gasps> <I'm gonna try. laughs> Think. With me 20 facts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do think, I mean, I think you can chase a man without it being obvious that you're chasing him. Yes. Which is kind of to be more subtle That's and more ladylike. That's more ladylike. Like. Yeah. It's more ladylike. How, do you, oh, how would well. you do it then? Me? Yeah. How did you chase Ray? <laughs> How did you chase Ray? Well, no, I didn't really, because, as I've always said, when I first met him, I just thought, oh, God, what an idiot. And, um... <laughs> well, no, it was. It was. It was. It was idiot at first sight. Yeah. And, um, but then... You know, gradually as the night went on, I thought, oh, he's nice, and he's looking at me. And then I sat, I could see him working, because he knew everyone in the room, and he was working his way around all the tables, chatting to everyone, and I thought, he's so making his way over to me. <laughs> <laughs> it might have just been that the others had said no, Colleen. <laughs> down with myself. <laughs> Did you not think of that? Well, cos I said, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> as soon as he got to me, I went, yeah. You're right, then. <laughs> get my coat. coat, you pulled. <laughs> See, oh, I'd, I'd... Ordinarily, I'd, I'd kind of agree, but my situation with the way I met Mike James was... Well, it was, it was unique, to say the least, cos um, he was gaffering... James, my other... My boyfriend. My other boyfriend? No. no. My boyfriend. <laughs> 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 my other half. Um, I was uh, shooting the, the commercial for my last album and um, he was doing the gaffering, he was doing the lighting and the electrics and stuff. And I walked in and saw him and thought, oh, hello, oh my God, I really, really fancied him. And um, telling everyone how much I fancied him. So. I thought, well, he's not going to say anything because he's part of the crew and I'm the star of the show. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to do something here. So I went straight in, asked him one question and established that he did not have a girlfriend and that he cooked. I was like, right, it's game on. What was I'm the... going to take this one. <laughs> what, was the, what was the question? Well, he was eating. He was having a, a bit of a, a munch down and he had chicken and stuff. And um, I went over and went, oh, so, so you... you uh, got some food there. Uh, who, who cooked that for you? He said, oh, I did it myself. I was like, oh, um, your girlfriend didn't do it. No, I don't have a girlfriend. I was like, mmm. Oh, <laughs> hi. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And did I got you his... text him? Did you oh, text yeah, him? Yeah, I got his number in the end. It was a bit convoluted because um, the lady that was with me on the shoot saw him a few weeks later, so I couldn't get his number then and there. That was far too obvious. So, got his number a few weeks later, texted him, mm. and... Uh, Felt a bit rest? sheepish, and then the rest was history. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that's nice. Yeah, it's yeah. Now, then. Should you yeah. chase a man? Should you chase a man? If he's just nicked your handbag, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Straight after him. Um, but no, I'm, I'm a bit like Colleen. I, I, I tend to sit back. Mm. But saying that, if if it wasn't for our fantastic makeup girl Donna. I would not be with with uh, Ed. Yeah. You know, because she does make you look attractive. Yeah, she. <laughs> <laughs> she, she actually dragged me up to the studio because I was in the studio and said, oh, I used to go out with him and I, he was really nice and I was thinking, but he's probably married now and blah, blah. And he was... The searchers were saying to him, why don't you go and see Jane? She's in the next studio. And he was thinking, no, because you might have a boyfriend. And But D Donna just uh, dragged me out the thing and said, look, just go say hello. He's an old friend. And that was it. Back Aww. together. So thank you, Donna. Aww. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. 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 Yeah. Now, <laughs> also, 
in the news this week is actress Eva Mendes, gorgeous girl, mm. uh, who's now dating a Peruvian filmmaker. Mm. And now when asked by an interviewer if she was in love, she replied, yes, and I have been for a while. She went on, I love the idea of belonging to a man. Every strong woman has a part of her that says, please take care of me. <laughs> Do you want to belong to a man, Jane McDonnell? <laughs> well! <laughs> Actually, this one... I don't mind. I don't mind the whole thing of being attached and, you know, it's, it's definitely the one and... I, well, he is for now, anyway, so... <laughs> uh, but, you know, you, I, I honestly think I do. My heart does belong to him. Oh, There's a song oh. in... Oh. But it's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you mean... Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? I see what you mean. Yeah. You know what it is for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you touched? <laughs> it's, it's that word... Belong. Yeah. Sounds like you come in with me. You know what I mean. Like, I don't, I, Do you I, not like that? I like the idea yeah. of, of equals. Equals. You know what I mean. Mm. That, mm. To me, it's it's just that word belong. It sounds like. I, I, to me personally, I think that um, there should be a, a man should kind of compliment you. You know, mm. it's not just that idea of. Ownership. I, yeah. I don't like that. That's what it infers to me. I that, think it's like you, you come together as a team and you become yeah. like a unit. It's so a you union. both work together rather than, you know, like you say, being dragged along by the hair or in a headlock. Mm. Um, but, you know, yeah. some ladies. Would you stop it, Colleen? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you like that idea? Yeah. <laughs> I do like a strong man. Yeah. <laughs> mm. um, do you maybe want not to in belong headlock. to Ray? Um, no, the thing is, I don't feel I belong to Ray. Yeah. And you may as well know that. Um, <laughs> I feel that Ray does belong to me, and you may as well know. <laughs> <laughs> and I complete him. Oh! <laughs> That's the way round. Oh. Yeah. I'm just speaking for him. Why is it OK not that here. way round and it's not OK? I don't know, it just makes me feel better. It keeps him on his toes. Oh. <laughs> he does. Okay. He, uh, he belongs to me. Oh, he can't go anywhere without, without my permission. <laughs> He's now unpacking his case <laughs> with his beautiful. Christmas pants and he's out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, love is a many splendid Isn't thing. It? We're taking.